Now, JP Morgan, on the other end, um, taking a look at this, is up today, up 2.8% off of that news. Looking at this here on this weekly, big, big time frame. Something you have to understand. It's a really, really big time frame. But we have this big resistance level here at like these 140s, 142, 143 level right here. And if we can push over this, we can hold over this 144 level. Our next level is right up to 156, then up to 167, and then up to 172. So there's no reason if we push through here that we actually can't see JP Morgan back up at all-time highs, maybe within the next year or so. But we would have to push through this major level first. And since then, we've been rejecting. Now, what you're going to want to see here on the daily, since we've kind of broken out of this bull flag here, we need more volume. As volume, you can see, is descending, we need volume to pick up and make higher highs as we push up through this resistance level. So I wouldn't be buying this JPM breakout just yet. I'd personally just be waiting because of how many times we've rejected. Wait for confirmation. It's always going to be better for you.